Uh, today we were doing uh, aerial deer surveys, post season deer surveys in Area 10. Um, basically what it allows us to do is derive composition data for the herd so we can tell the ratios of bucks to does and fawns to does, which is in a general sense what we use in our models to derive tag quotas. Well, generally we have an area that we want to survey, so you know, for area 10 we might start in unit 101 and what we do is we just have a, a random survey and a meandering survey through the units and when we see deer we, we go down with the helicopter and uh, classify the deer. The, we usually have the biologist in the front seat with the pilot and I would call off what I see and the observer in the back records what we see and that's that's how we develop our ratios. Generally this time of year the deer are beginning to move, they migrate, so typically elevations between the valley floor up to about 8,000 feet is where we focus. We don't focus in the higher elevations due to the snowfall and it's in that transition zone that these deer uh, move into at this time of year and that's really where we hone in on. Well definitely in the fall you're dealing with much smaller groups. Um, and it makes it a lot easier for the biologists and the, and the pilot to work with because you aren't having to split the groups to, to do the counts, uh, the composition surveys. In the springtime, the deer are coming back and they're in much larger groups. So in Area 10, you can have groups of thousands of deer, um, whereas now we're dealing anywhere between, you know, three deer in a group up to 50 or 60, just, just depending on the, on the day and, and the area. Every group that we run into, we GPS and we, and we keep a track log so we can overlay our locations, look at what elevations they're in, and we can compare that through the years. I mean, we have all that data electronically since the 70s, and we can look at where we've been in the past and, and kind of where we're at in the present year and, and compare it.